Hello, I'm Christy Cosina and I will be talking about technology integration in education. It is the final phase to consider in bringing new technologies into learning settings, according to the Institute of Education Sciences. The stakeholders for this presentation are technology users who support or consume aviation training at Naval Air Station Corpus Christi, who include the administrators, instructional design team members, technical support, instructors, and students. Technology integration is important because it is not enough to plan a technology initiative, acquire technology, train users on how to use that technology, and use it responsibly. Educational technology leaders must also encourage regular use of the new technology. So to begin, what is technology integration? NCES defines it as the incorporation of technology and technology-based practices into the daily routines, work, and management of an organization. This means that technology users are successfully able to strategize about what technology or tool they can use in order to solve problems and then make it happen. If military education institutions like Naval Air Station Corpus Christi do not follow through and integrate technology into the learning culture, then the training efforts will be squandered as technology users will simply complete the training and continue as usual. Successful technology integration improves the chances that the users will benefit from the new technology while solving educational goals and productivity needs. What must educational organizations do to begin the integration process? They must determine technology integration standards to measure progress. The NCREL report mentions components that can be used to measure success. Some of these components include creating learning connections in students, having to apply learning by using technology, and having adequate technical support. Once standards have been determined, it is up to educational technology leaders to meet those standards. The NCREL report also offers recommendations for successful application of the latest technologies. When integrating technology, it is imperative for users to learn how to use a new technology through training. To improve integration efforts, the training must include assessment measures to determine progress. The instructional design team members, aviation instructors, and students will need to have the proficiency in technology use measured by performance or assessment indicators. Can they use a dual monitor system? Can they use computers for professional or educational use? Not only do they need to complete training on how to use new hardware and software, but they also need to learn how to integrate those technologies into their daily work or learning routine. Integration indicators help determine if users demonstrate successful performance with the new technology in their daily routine. Integration measures may include statements like the aviation instructor demonstrates effective use of the new training integrated management system and putting student grades into the electronic gradebook. Effective technology integration will have occurred when instructors or instructional design team members can successfully complete their job tasks and improve learning outcomes by using the new technology. When students can effectively select and utilize learning technology to consume information, interact with the learning content and environment, and then illustrate their progress, the technology has been successfully integrated for student use. In order to integrate technology into the educational setting, it needs to be part of the curriculum. This may include proficiency standards in technology use. Can students make effective decisions in which hardware or software to use for the task at hand? Are students being good digital citizens? How many aviation instructors out of all instructors use computers for instructional purposes? Do instructors assess technology proficiency in student learning? What percent of the course and attendance is collected via computer input? Are instructors evaluated on technology proficiency? It is imperative that educational technology leaders determine the answers to these kinds of measures to ensure that technology is successfully being integrated into the educational setting. There are several barriers to technology integration that could hinder the successful use of new technology at Naval Air Station Corpus Christi. One barrier could consist of hardware or software that isn't targeted to the user's needs. For instance, it probably would not make much sense to give aviation instructors access to complicated software like Adobe Flash that needs an expert level of proficiency if they will not be using it for instructional purposes. The training could be inadequate. If aviation students do not have proper training on how to use the new learning management system to complete computer-aided instruction, then integration efforts have failed. The planning for technology integration should also be deficient. Educational technology leaders need to be prepared with a comprehensive action plan that includes technology skills growth. This may include examples of acceptable technology use for each user type to ensure that all technology users incorporate the new technology into their daily routine. 
In the end, successful technology integration at Naval Air Station Bridge Christie requires educational technology leaders to create metrics to see if users are in fact using the new technology. They need to put performance measures into annual job reviews and student assessments to encourage new technology use. They also need to phase out old technology because people will still use it if it is available. Successful technology integration is important because it is not sufficient to expect that aviation educators, support staff, and students will use the technology after being trained. An action plan needs to be put in place that encourages use of the new technology and educational technology leaders need to follow through in ensuring that it happens. Thank you for listening. See you next time.